Hello and welcome to this module. And in this module, we are going to talk about combine the aggregation output with the data frame. Looks interesting. Let's try to solve the sum of the problems. Here is my data set. Beautiful sample superstore data. My task is to create some aggregation in my data set. For example, Suppose I want to create a new column which defines the total sales by category. First of all, let's check the total sales by category. Superstore dot group by category column dot sales dot sum dot head. These are the values which I am getting. Furniture total sales is this number, office supply the total sales is this number, and the technology the total sales is this number. Here I'm using this sum method to calculate the total sales and use group by with category because I want to know group by category. Sum is an aggregation function which returns a reduced version of input data, which is nothing but I'm just aggregating and it is giving me the output. Now, what we want, if I see the output here, if I check in my total data frame, the total number of records which I have is 9994 and the output which we are getting from here is total number of record as three, right? So what is here, the, my the output which I have is less number of records. And the input which I have is 9994 because we are doing some aggregation here. That's why it is coming as three reports only. Now, what to do? I can create a new column as well. For example, let's say I'm creating a total sales is equal to superstore dot group by. And then I am grouped by doing category, category. After that, sales dot transform, and I am creating a new value as sum total sales. You see that this is my sum coming in. Now, what is the total number of records I'm getting? Now, the total number of records I'm getting is 9994, absolutely. But here we have duplicates at the same time. If you see here, we have duplicates at the same time. 741999, 741999. This is the value for, if you check here, 741999 is a value for furniture category. And that is what it is. Maybe because this first record is for uh, furniture, second record is for furniture, third record is for office supply, maybe, right? 719, like that. That's why it's showing me the output. Now, what I will do, this total sales is nothing but Panda series. If you check, type of this, it is a series. I want to add this series in my data frame. I have my data frame, which is nothing but Superstore. In this data frame, I want to add a new column that is total sales is equal to my Panda series. And now if I check my superstore data, you can see that in the end, the new column should be there, which is nothing but my total sales column. Now that is how you can see that the total price of each is now listed in every single line. That makes things easy for me to calculate the total order price percentage for this. For example, let's say I'm interested in sales, which is 261 divided by this total sales. It will help me understand that what is the percentage of sales coming from this particular order. So I can do a new calculation here. The new column name will be percent of total is equal to superstore 
dot sales divided by superstore dot total sales and now if i go to superstore data a new column percent of total also added in my data frame and this is giving me the total percentage that means 261.96 divided by this big number i'll get 0.000353 that is the percentage contribution which i am getting from sales field like from this particular order sales to my overall sales so that is how you can do the aggregation and put the values and then do the calculations which we are doing here hope this makes sense we'll see you in the next trick till then happy analyzing